Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about the characteristics of reflux tristron oscillator and what are the various applications where we can use this reflux tristron oscillator. So first, before going into the characteristics and applications, just let me recall the operation of this constructional diagram and as well as the reflux tristron oscillations. So here, this is the electron gun this is the electron gun which is applied with the negative voltage that is coming from this accelerating voltage accelerating and negative voltage which is high voltage that is connected to this electron gun so that the electron gun produces a beam of electrons towards the repeller electrode repeller electrode which is operated with the high negative voltage that is from the repeller voltage okay <coughs> So this repeller voltage is used to repel the electrons in the free space. The electrons which are traveling and crossing this particular gap, they can travel up to certain distance and again reflected back because of this high negative voltage. High negative voltage. Electrons are of negative charge. This is negative charge. So that will be reflected back and coming back towards this gap. So because of that, three electrons are going to be generated. A reference electron, early electron, late electron, which are reflected back and reaching the gap at the same time creating a bunch <coughs> okay so early electron late electron difference electron they are creating a bunch and producing a sinusoidal signal uh, early electron is responsible for the maximum positive supply and uh, negative uh, late electron is for negative supply and reference electron normally zero potential okay if you observe this if you observe this there is a single cavity that is used to collect the RF signal output and coming out from this coaxial cable as RF output. This is what the basic operation of this Klystron, reflux Klystron oscillator. Now let us see the characteristics. The first characteristic was it is having a single cavity. If you take an amplifier which is a Klystron amplifier, that Klystron amplifier has two cavities which is a buncher cavity and catcher cavity. Okay. So let us see the characteristics first. Characteristics. First one, it is having it is having single cavity. <coughs> it is having single cavity why it has to be specified here because such type of constructions we have made it for two devices one is for a klystron amplifier another one is for reflux klystron oscillator if you see the reflux uh, reflux uh, uh, what is the sorry klystron amplifier in the klystron amplifier there are two cavities one is buncher cavity another one is catcher cavity or more precisely we can say one is the input cavity another one is the output cavity but in the case of reflux klystron oscillator which is having only a single cavity there is no need of input voltage input uh, ac supply so that's why only one cavity is sufficient to generate the oscillations and producing output <coughs> and the second one is the operating power is also very low low power low power it requires very low power to operate it requires very low power to operate that is the main advantage actually in the microwave tubes microwave tubes in the beginning of this microwave tubes i already told you that the operation of operational power is very low okay when compared to the normal conventional tubes the microwave tubes are having very low power requires a low power to operate so that power is in the range of 1 milliwatt to 2.5 watts the operating voltage operating power is uh, that means uh, the microwave tubes reflux klystron oscillator requires a power to operate is 1 milliwatt to 2.5 watts and coming to the third characteristic which is high frequency and variable frequency so it produces a signal with a high frequency the frequency of oscillations produced by this uh, reflux klystron oscillator which is very high frequency and as well as variable frequency variable frequency variable frequency which is in the order of 4 
giga hedges to 100 giga hedge very wide range of frequencies that are given because of this reflex tristan operation very wide range of frequency if you see 4 giga hertz uh, in the beginning of starting of the microwave uh, frequency and 100 giga hertz just means somewhat uh, at the extreme end end of this uh, microwave frequency setup so uh, can anybody say, uh, can you think how uh, how the frequency variable how the frequency can be changed of course we can assume that the reflex is not producing high frequency as it is a microwave device that is fine but how the variable how the frequency can be varied using this device because of velocity modulation by the application of anode voltage or accelerating voltage see here if this voltage is some 500 volts okay it is minus and it is plus if it is 500 volts the electrons which are producing here the reference electron late electron early electron the depth of penetration of these is different with different voltage of this anode voltage suppose i am changing it to 600 volts again the depth of penetration and velocity of these three electrons is different Velocity is different means depth of penetration into the reflect space is different. Again, if I change this voltage to some other value, definitely the depth of penetration varies so that the voltage produced at the output is also varying. That means the velocity changes so that the frequency of oscillation will also change. Okay, so in this way we can say it is also producing high frequency and as well as variable frequency. And efficiency of this one already we have calculated in the previous video. Efficiency of this reflex klystron, reflex klystron is 20 approximately 20. Sorry, it is 22. 22 point something like 7. Okay, more approximately you can say 22.7 percent. Okay, or approximately we can say it is 23 percent. That is the efficiency which is nothing but output power by input power. Okay. So the reflex klystron will generate a sustained oscillations if the transit time is equal to n plus 3 by 4. Very, very, very important point. The reflex klystron will generate the reflex klystron will generate sustained sustained oscillations means oscillator should produce stable oscillations so that we can use that as a resource source for any other devices so sustained oscillations if the transit time is equal to n plus 3 by 4 n plus 3 by 4 so transit time tau is equal to n plus 3 by 4 so n may be n may be any integer value 1 2 3 and so on infinity so here 1 plus 3 by 4 2 plus 3 by 4 3 plus 3 by 4 and so on that means uh, the electrons which are created I will draw here electrons which are created here the repeller space tau is equal to n plus 3 by 4 i am explaining this one okay it is the repeller space which is yes the electrons which are three different types of electrons which are a reference electron yeah, sorry early electron reference electron and late electron late electron travels with uh, low velocity the reference electron travels with the standard velocity v0 and the eddy electron travels with the highest velocity and reaches this bunch now if you take the applicate diagram exactly from reference electron if you calculate this is the first of cycle from here onwards These are the cycles. 
from here onwards how many cycles that are completed to get the bunch of electrons group of electrons how many cycles completed see from the reference electron always we should uh, calculate from the reference electron so from this reference electron up to here it is one cycle this is number one one cycle again from here to here it is half plus quarter nothing but three by four half plus quarter nothing but three by four so how many it is one three by four we can write it as one plus three by four cycles are needed one plus three by four cycles are needed to create the bunch or group of electrons from the beginning of the reflex Christ on journey so from the beginning of the reference electron journey okay similarly in general the bunch or group of electrons are generated at a distance of or we can say the time is n plus 3 by 4 cycles. It needs n plus 3 by 4 cycles. Okay, hope you understand now. Okay, so as a second part, now we will see the applications of this reflux klystron oscillator. So, what are the various applications? So one is we can use that in radar receivers, in radar receivers. Second one, local oscillator in microwave receivers, local oscillator. So, wherever you are having the oscillator uses in the highest frequency is there, we can use this reflux Christian oscillator. So, local oscillator in microwave receivers signal source in microwave generator of variable frequency signal source in microwave generator of variable frequency portable microwave links portable microwave links and lastly pump oscillators in parametric amplifier <coughs> parametric amplifier okay so these are the various applications where we can uh, um, regressly use this uh, reflex klystron oscillators okay